All right, guys, let's be honest. We have all, at one point or another, had a terrible experience playing ranked online. Uh, I mean, cheaters, baiters, toxic teammates, it is rough out there. So grab a stress ball and pour yourself a stiff drink, because today we're counting down the top 10 worst players you can meet online. Starting us off at number 10 is the player who will do anything to win, the cheater. If you can't figure out these guys are cheating, you don't even you're deserve to be in the fun. channel, dude. No matter what game you're playing, you're gonna run into a cheater at some point, whether they're using wall hacks, or an aimbot, or macros, or something else. The other kids, yo, just get the car and go all the way to that hut in the front. You're gonna gatekeep them. They're outside of Pochinki. That's it, y'all won. There is nothing more infuriating than losing to a cheater. But until someone makes an anti-cheat that actually works 100% of the time, we're gonna have to put up with them a little longer. He's cheating! He's cheating! Coming in at the number nine spot is the person that makes every CS player tilt off the face of the earth when you encounter them. A man, I'm in my skirt! <laughs> Baiting is what happens when you get used by another player. They trade your life for their kills. Stand right there. Just peek the corner. Tunnels? No, go stand there. Stand there. Oh boy. Shoot that. I got, I got three. Bomb down. Damn, all right, dude. What's up? Okay. Top HP. I'm here with you. Say you're both turning a corner onto a site. The baiter always makes sure you go in first so they can easily kill the guy who's focused on you. Ugh. I bet you. Me, you fucking bitch. I bet you, man. Haha, <laughs> 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 Lol, I bet that. At the number eight spot is the guy who ruins your game before it even starts. I had enough. I'm playing the disgusting champion that I told myself I wouldn't play. I'm back. Picture this you're loading up to play your favorite game. Let's say it's League of Legends, and you hover over your favorite champion. But then, as if the other team saw it coming, that champion gets insta banned. Well, they banned Draven. That's fine. Hey, ban Draven. Why would you do that? Makes no sense. Your blood boils. All you wanted to do was play your favorite character in your favorite game. And now all you can do is be miserable as the enemy team gets to have a good time at your expense. All because of one ban. Absolute fucking pussy. But hey, at least your champion didn't get banned by some toxic little shit on your team. Now that is the worst. Fuck it! I don't care, dude! Number seven on our list is the ghost who somehow queued for matchmaking. Summit. Hello, Summit. Please play the fucking game, sir. <laughs> He's able on Summit. The Please play the fucking game, Summit. Look, we've all been haunted by this nightmare. You queue up, get into a game, and start playing only to realize that one of your teammates is just chilling in spawn and isn't responding to chat. Is he- are these guys both AFK? I swear to god, alright, at least they have three players, but if these guys are both AFK, then it's a- then it's a 2v3 again. Like, you gotta be serious, bro. You're in the first few minutes of the game, and he's still not moving. You're in a team fight, and he's still not moving. You're about to lose, still not moving. The world ended, still not moving. You go on to the number six spot on this list, and he's still not moving. Okay, no judgment here, but sometimes you get teamed up with a player who isn't exactly the best. But then, you realize your ranks are about the same. You should not be getting matched up with a player this far below your skill level. Unless... I'm a boosted animal. Oh, I'm an animal. I'm a boosted animal. I'm on time much stuck in bronze five. <laughs> Boosting is a plague that's infected any game that's ever had ranked matchmaking. Mediocre players will pay people to boost them to a higher rank so they look better at the game than they actually are. I think the soldier bought this account, guys. Look at where his fucking positioning, dude. No soldier ever positions there, no matter what. Yeah, he definitely bought this account. The problem is that that illusion falls off pretty quickly once they're actually in the game. Yeah, I don't know, man. This... This Lee is maybe boosted. Call them a bot or just a boosted animal. The point is you never want to have one of these players dragging your team down. It looks like this might be some kind of strange boosting service. Coming in at number five on our list is the person who's playing under questionable chemical influences. <laughs> no. 
I'm oh. not sober. Do you want do you want to play some League of Legends? There's always that one guy who joins the match and makes sure the first thing everyone else hears is I'm so fucking surprise, drunk. motherfucker. Now, honestly, this teammate isn't all that bad. Obviously, still not sober, but maybe that's their secret. Maybe getting a little tipsy or stoned is their path to victory. But I ask you, is it really worth it to hear this the entire match? Oh, oh my god, god this drink is so strong. Oh, I'm running that. Yeah, I didn't think so. You can't slurp alcohol. That shit hurts. Communication is key to success in any team-based game. But why is it that there's always one dude in your game who's working their hardest to ruin your comms? A player who never shuts up and is always toxic. Sandwich. Nice. It's not sandwich. Sandwich. Fuck, kurva team. I'm not why are you speaking when you're dead? Shut the fuck up. No, I'm muted. Every so... time you're speaking, sandwich, sandwich, only one time in four. What said... is this? I said he was sandwich. He was locked in and sandwich. Fuck. This player contributes nothing to the game, and afterwards, whether you've won or you've lost, you've probably either raged at this guy yourself, or just muted him. Yo, listen, you fucking noobs! Listen, monkey! There's a baby you go for! You want... Fuck, man! I'm so tilted! I'm so fucking tilted! At least, they aren't as bad as the guy who actively stops you from winning. Speaking of which, taking the number three spot on our list is the kind of player who has mastered the infamous technique of losing games and tilting everyone. I lose this game for you for being do, toxic. Do you, know we, do you know what we do for people being toxic? We lose the games. What? Say bye bye to your elo that you just took off us. Among the most despicable people you can get teamed with are those who throw games just because they're tilted and they want to take you down with them. They don't care if you have ELO at stake. They don't care if they're wasting your time. All they care about is running it down and sitting back while you seethe in your chair at the person who is literally wasting your time. Hey! Hey, run that shit straight down mid! Straight down mid! Throw that shit straight down. There we go, baby. It's been a long fucking time. All you can do is report the player and hope something gets done. Because as of right now, no one seems to have a great solution for how to deal with these kind of jerks. We switch junk. I'm still throwing, bro. So you're just gonna be a bitch? I don't care. Like these dudes no, don't you're care. A bitch. Why, why should you're, I? You're care? just bitching right now. That's all you're doing. I'm muting YouTube. Like, all right, bye. Coming in at the runner-up spot on our list is the bane of all streamers, the Stream Sniper. I don't know what... I don't know what we do. How do we combat them knowing? Unfortunately, there's one class of player who wants to ruin their day and make their stream a living hell. I feel like I've never gotten Stream Sniped so hard in my entire life. In a solo. By watching a stream, the stream sniper has all the information they need to hunt down a streamer in the game and kill them in ways that just aren't fair. Watch for the emote, watch for the emote, watch guy, for the emote, emote, emote. Guys, no, nope. this guy is no. Nope. Like oh my god, dude. Wow, dude, look how good he's at building. Look wow. at him, he's showing you. He's showing you, you the way, dude. Wow, look how good he's at the building. Oh, there's the oh, emote, there, 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 there it is. There it is, dude. The four player stream sniping. You gotta love proof, you know what I mean? You gotta always love when there's proof. You literally- bum, bum, What an know. idiot! How stupid can you be? But it's not always just about getting easy kills. Sometimes stream snipers are just there to troll you in any way possible. And all you can do is sit there and take it while your chat laughs along. No! Alright guys, I'm sorry. I have a case of the stream snipers. And I don't okay. want you guys to deal with that, so I'm gonna go. Taking the top spot on our list is the absolute worst player to get teamed with. The worst person on the internet. The person who insists his garbage Wi-Fi is good enough for gaming. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Fuck you, Ping! Ah, oh, you were dead, you fucker! Ah, oh, shit! A player with crap internet can ruin your game in all kinds of ways. If they're on the other team, you can't hit them because they're lagging so bad. 
If they're on your team, they miss every shot because their router was made by Fisher Price. What the fuck? I'm <laughs> what was that? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm lagging like shit, man. But the true worst version of this criminal is the fighting game player with bad internet. You could be the best player in the world and you will still never beat the person on two kilobytes an hour Wi-Fi because they're teleporting all over your screen. This isn't real. This isn't real. Look guys, we understand that having good internet is a luxury and it can be expensive, but please, please do us a favor and plug in your ethernet cable. Do it not just for yourself, but everyone else you'll ever play with. Okay. Are you having some trouble there with that door? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Come on. You're, you're it's, the, it's the ping. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that is it for the top 10 worst players you can meet online, and that list was a tilter. Now look guys, if you want to meet some players who aren't so bad online, head on over to twitch.tv slash thescoreesports, give us a follow, and turn notifications on, because we go live on the regular these days. Oh yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, what are you waiting for? The button's just, just down there. It's right over there. Alright, end of the video, let's continue on with a tour of Colin's set. Look, if you're feeling lost in these crazy and hectic times these days, if you're feeling like you're living in a dystopia, well, I have the author for you. If you've never read William Gibson, he's a pioneer of the cyberpunk subgenre. A lot of what he wrote in Neuromancer, which is probably still his most famous book, um, was aped for the Matrix movies uh, and countless other forms of media. Uh, he predicted a ton of different things to do with the internet and with modern technology, and he was writing you know, in the 80s and 90s, and he's, I believe, still writing today. If you're interested in all the terrible things that technology can do to our lives, and all of the disturbing, dark, and dingy possibilities of our future world, I would say William Gibson is a guy you should check out.